Today we're going to look at mods with negative numbers. To understand mods with negative numbers, it's important to use a property about zero, and it's the zero property of addition that when I add zero to a number, I don't change the number. So look at this, zero plus x, I still have x. If you don't like x's, how about if I do zero plus two, I still have two. Or zero plus eight is still eight. Zero plus negative four is still negative four. So we're gonna let zero help us out to simplify negative mods. It's important to recognize that multiples of a mod are zero. So for example, three mod three is zero. Remember, when we're looking at mods, we're trying to find the remainder if we divide by the mod. So in this case, three mod three, we're saying if we divide three by three, what's left over? Nothing. Six mod three is also zero. When I divide six by three, I don't have a remainder. When I divide 12 by three, I don't have a remainder. If I divide 300 by three, I don't have a remainder. I know it's tricky. I know sometimes it's hard because you really want to say three divided by three is one. Absolutely true. Six divided by three is two. Absolutely true. But what you have to tell yourself is when you do that the division, what's left over? And maybe don't exactly say in your head divide because if you're saying divide, you're going to write that number. You're going to write 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 is not even an answer in mod 3. So make sure you're thinking mod, thinking that what's left over when I divide. All right. So using this idea that multiples of um, the mod are equal to zero is really, really going to be helpful. So before we jump into it, let's just make sure we see some more examples because it doesn't matter. Last time I was doing three, I could use any mod. So I could do 20 mod five, I would get zero. 36 mod six, here's zero. 24 mod eight, there it is again, zero. 44 mod two is zero. 85 mod five is zero. 999 mod nine is zero. So are you starting to see the idea? No remainder when we have a multiple of the mod. All right, so how does this help us? Well, let's start with an example to see how this works. Okay, let's take something easy. 8 mod 4 is 0. Cool, no remainder. Now let's take a negative mod, like negative 5 mod 4. All right, so we're going to put these two concepts together. I'm going to take the idea that 8 mod 4 is 0, and that I need to figure out what negative 5 mod 4 is. So remember that when I add 0 to a number, I don't change it. So when I add negative 5 plus 0, I get negative 5. But in this situation, 8 also works like a 0. So I can add negative 5 plus 8, which I know is 3. And now I've turned my negative 5 into a positive 3, and I have my answer. When we answer mods, we never give negative numbers as our final answer. We should always go from 0 to 1 less than the mod. So the trick is going to be using a multiple of the mod that makes our number positive. So it's not just going to be like add the mod, right? You could. You could add the mod over and over again until you get a positive number. That would be okay. But typically we want to go a little faster than that. So let's try this again. Let's say I have negative 7 mod 3 and I want to make it positive. So what I need to do is I need to find a multiple of 3 that is bigger than 7 that will make it, when I add the negative 7 to this number, it becomes positive. And let's be lazy. Let's not pick a number much bigger. Like, I don't want to go, oh, why don't I add 30? 30 is a multiple of 3. Because then my answer won't be done. I'll have to do more work. And none of us want to do more work. So I want to do the least amount of work positive. So when I think about negative 7, and I think about multiples of 3, I go, well, 9 is pretty close to 7, and it's bigger than 7. So let's add that. So here I have negative 7, and I'm adding 9. And when I add that together, negative 7 plus 9, that's going to give me 2. Definitely we need to look at some more examples. So here we are at negative 6, and I have mod 4. So I'm thinking, what multiple of 4 is just a little bit bigger than 6? And I'm thinking, oh, it would be 8. So I have negative 6 plus 8, it gives me 2. Okay, Let's try negative 11. So I'm thinking about negative 11 and I'm thinking about multiples of 3. It's okay if you think 3, 6, 9, 12, oh, 12. 12 is the one I need to use because when I add 12 to negative 11, I get 1. Okay, negative 23, and I'm looking at mod 7. Again, you could be thinking 7, 14, 21. 21 is not bigger than 23, so don't stop. Go to the next one, which is 28. So you're thinking of your multiples, but you want to get bigger than the number I give you. So when I add 28 to negative 23, I get 5, 
and I'm done. Okay. Here I am at negative 4, and I'm mod 9. So again, I'm going 9, 18, 27, 36. I need 45. 45 is bigger than 40. So that negative 40 plus 45 gives me 5. Okay. Um, let's do a couple, make sure I get a weird example. How about negative 10 mod 2? Now when I'm thinking about negative 10, um, 10 is a multiple of 2. So when you're going through your 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 and negative 10 is 0. 0 is a perfect answer. So you don't have to go any bigger than that. So I got to 10 and I stopped. Say I did. Right? So let's, let's get my little pin out and say I did. Say that I did not even think about the fact that I could have added 10. Would I have a problem? So what if when you were doing it, and I know my writing doesn't come out great here, if you didn't add 10, say that you went, oh, I went bigger than 10 and I added 12. That's okay. Because when I add negative 10 plus 12, I would get 2. Okay. What you would want to do is not stop there. Oh, this is not a pretty writing, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so here I would have 2 mod 2, and then you would have to slow yourself down, right? And that slowing yourself down, you would say 2 mod 2. Well, what's the remainder when I divide 2 by 2? It's 0. So you would still get the same answer. Okay. And I'll show you another thing that you could do as well um, as we go. So how about negative 16 mod 6? So I'm thinking 6, 12, 12 is too small, 18, 18 is cool. So negative 16 um, plus 18, oh, mod 6 is equal to, look, I left it out, it's a 2. Um, down here, negative 43 plus 8. Um, so here I'm adding, I'm thinking, okay, let's go through our multiples of 8. Um, and I got negative 43 plus 48, mod 8 is equal to 5. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, and let's just add one in to see, let's say I said um, negative 13, um, and let's do mod 5, just to give you another idea of what you could do if this just is not jumping at you. You could just keep adding the mod until you get a positive. So what I mean by that is you could add negative 13 plus 5. And that's going to give you negative 8. Okay, you're still the negative. That's no good. So let's do it again. So take negative 8. That's a plus sign. Um, and I added 5 again. So I'm just going to keep adding the mod in this example just to show you if you're not getting this, do the multiples. Just keep adding the mod. So negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. Still no good. Can't have a negative. So let's try it again. Let's do negative 3 plus 5. Finally, we have success. Negative 3 plus 5 is equal to 2, and I can finally stop. So I could have added 15 to begin with. 15 and negative 13 would give me 2, but if this just isn't catching on, just know that you can add the mod, add the mod, add the mod. Just keep doing it until you get a positive. That works just as well. So you have choices here, and I like math to have choices. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to give this a try. You know how this works. Stop the video. Try these. What did I give you? Four examples. Make sure you're catching on to what's happening and then come back, start it again, and see how I solve them. All right, so here's what I did. Um, so I said um, negative 11 mod 7. I thought 7, next one is 14. So I did negative 11 and 14, um, and it gave me 3. Or I said negative 8 mod 3, so I decided to add 9. Um, that gave me 1. For negative 15 mod 7, I added 21, which gave me 6. And on the last one, I gave you negative 30 mod 9. So I added 36. Um, and then negative 30 plus 36 gave me 6. All right, so that's it. Hope that really helped.